Nice. My hat too. Yes. Thanks, baby. You bet. <laughs> there are a few different options to get from Antigua to Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. You can take a local bus, a shuttle bus, or you can Uber there, which is what we opted to do. And our Uber dropped us off in Panajachel, which is the port town on Lake Atitlan. From here, we then got into a tiny little wooden boat with a bunch of other people and sped our way across very choppy waters all the way across the lake to San Pedro. From San Pedro, we hopped in a tuk-tuk with all of our bags and drove about five to 10 minutes outside of the city to Refugio del Volcan, which is James and Heidi's place along the lake. It comes with a lot of stairs to hike, over a hundred steps. So we took a break halfway in between, but kept on trekking and then finally made it to our destination for the week. We had a studio apartment, Airbnb, met James right away and became fast friends. Just a typical road here, six feet wide. <laughs> it's probably not even six feet wide. No. Oh, look at it. Someone's coming. It's fine. <laughs> Got our uh, dozen eggs to go <laughs> in a bag. Hopefully, we don't smash them on our walk home. And some grape drink and some milk for our coffees. Yeah, cafe con leche. So this 12 eggs, that milk, and that drink was 32 quetzales, which is like... For five four, bucks US? Five bucks US. Pretty good. decide where we're going next. By playing rock, paper, scissors. Because <laughs> why wouldn't a guy? Look, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. Rock, paper, scissors. So we have eight options and we're just gonna choose one of the places and are we doing best of one or best of three? One. Best of one? Elimination round. Oh boy. You're good at rock, paper, scissors. It's a 50-50 shot. <laughs> Either win or you lose. There's no being good at it. I feel like he has a strategy because he always wins when we do this. What did you pick last time? Rock. What did I pick? Paper. Mm, I won. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so who are you going to be? I'll take left side, you take right side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the, the places. We're going between Honduras, Costa Rica, Panama, El Salvador, Aruba, the Dominican, Mexico, or Monterico, which is the uh, beach town in Guatemala. 
We kind of picked these places because I wanted to see some beaches and ocean. That's our next step. And I'm trying to be more best bang for buck. Believe that or not. Weird. <laughs> How the turntables. <laughs> okay, I got Honduras. Okay, you're Honduras, I'm Costa Rica. Best of one. Honduras, Costa Rica's Costa off the Rica's list. Costa Rica's out. Panama, El Salvador. I'm El Salvador. I'm Panama. Okay. Ooh. Panama's, Panama's out. out. Ooh. Okay. Crossing off the beachy countries real yeah. quick. Uh, Aruba is me. And I'm Dominican Republic. Aruba was his number one pick. Yeah. Okay, now who are you? I'm Mexico. And I'm Monterico, so staying in Guatemala. Ooh, we're out of Guatemala. No, we're leaving. Okay. So that's two on each side. Works perfect. We're down to four. This is not how I thought this was going to go. Me either. This is awesome. <laughs> So now I'm Honduras. And I'm El Salvador. All right, let's roll. Okay. Ooh, El Salvador's out. Great. So now I'm Mexico. And I'm the Dominican. Ooh. Ooh Dominican's out. Oh my God. Looks like I'm kicking your ass. I told you, strategy. <laughs> Can you, oh, whoa, I can't believe this is happening. Why? This was the whole point. I know, but we had like a s somewhat plan and we only said that we we're gonna, our last stop would be Mexico and we'd stay there for like a month and cruise around. And we we're like 100% we're not ready to go to Mexico yet. We're not going, we're not going. The universe might decide that for us. <laughs> we'll see how good you are at rock, paper, scissors now. Oh my God. I, feel so I always play to win. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Honduras. Okay. Who are, okay. You? Who are you? Oh, I'm Mexico. All right. Okay. Oh, we're going to Mexico. Shut up. Unreal. You guys saw it here first. I did not think that was going to happen, baby. Me neither. We just threw it in there to make it an even eight. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mexico's big, there's lots to see. Yeah, we can go tons of places. And we can fly out anywhere next. Should we redo it? <laughs> no, we're going to Mexico. Oh my god. So we've been here at San Pedro on Lake Atitlan the last five nights staying at Refugio de Volcan Airbnb and I'll leave the link in the description for this place because you cannot miss it if you come here it is the best it's a little bit out of town and we haven't been doing much we kind of took this time to really relax and stay in so we've been making breakfasts every morning here in our Airbnb um, doing a little bit of work just relaxing in the hammock, playing a lot of Uno, got massages, hit the jacuzzi, and really just hung out with the owner, James, of this whole place. Him and his girlfriend, Heidi, they made our trip so awesome. We've become friends, uh, arrived as guests and are leaving as friends, which is really cool. Hey, babe. Chad missed watering the lawn at the rental so much that he's offered offered to help water James's lawn up here. Hey. 
Chad and I did take the scooter into San Juan yesterday for a little bit of sightseeing and breakfast and it was a really beautiful town. This is a sick whip this morning. He's wheelies! <laughs> gang gang! I'd suggest going there for shopping and more culture like it's just really pretty whereas San Pedro isn't really pretty <laughs> this is our little casita where we've been staying for the past five nights this little kitchen little TV and couch Bed, big wardrobe, and now we are on our way back to Antigua. And this morning we are up, packed, and we are going to take the shuttle, I think three hours, to Antigua, where we're going to spend the weekend again, back at Hotel Candeloria. Um, I forgot my shoes there, so we're going there to pick them back up. And yeah, we have a bit of a journey ahead of us. We haven't taken any public transport since we got here. We've just been Ubering because it's they're really cheap here in Guatemala. Um, but we're gonna give it a try today. All right, we're out. We thought we were going on like a one of the chicken buses or like the locals buses, but Sorry. apparently it's this van that's taking us. That's cool. It's 15 bucks each to go to Antigua. Okay, we didn't really film anything from yesterday. When we got back to Antigua, we just went for something to eat and then went to Gertie's bar because our friend Fred owns it. Went and saw him and visited and hopped around a little bit. And then Chad and I went to our favorite wine and pizza place here in Antigua called Suelo Vino. So delicious. And then came home. Um, we were gonna spend another night in Antigua, but we had a really bad sleep last night at our hotel, unfortunately. So we decided to leave. And we'll spend two nights in Guatemala City before flying out to our next place. So we're just waiting for a shuttle and then we're going back to Guatemala City. us doing the thing that we said we would do and that we hate.
so we arrived in Guatemala City. We took an Uber, ended up taking an Uber later on that. And we got like a block from the West End from our hotel. And our driver had to let us out because there's all this police presence and like a tr we thought it was an accident or a traffic jam. The whole road was blocked. So we started walking to our hotel and then we realized there's all these black SUVs and like there's a press conference outside our hotel right now and we think it's the new president of Guatemala. Literally right there in Insane. front of us. Wow. Doing a press conference. So we're just kind of hanging out. Like yeah, there's security wait. everywhere. So we're just kind of waiting. Yeah, they're watching us film right now even. It's nuts. This is kind of cool. Yeah, though. it is. Totally. <laughs> <It's like one. laughs> of course, we'd run into that. What? I was going to jump on the bed beside you. Yeah, what did it say about Bluetooth mic connected? <laughs> That's a rookie jump. <laughs> <sighs> you gotta commit. We're back to bouge life at the West End <laughs> in Guatemala City. Really roughing it. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, you just can't beat these beds. When you know, you know, you know. I know. I know, right? You know? I know. Totally. <sighs> <laughs> I think we're gonna go down to the pool soon and get a michelada. Also, the president of Guatemala might be staying on this floor because there's a lot of security when we were walking to our room. And this is the executive club lounge level. So we're gonna Google what he looks like so we know how to identify him because he's here, he's on. We're gonna try and shake his hand. It's gonna try shake his hand. The people, the people, we don't know that much about it, so I'm gonna look into it. But the people at the front desk seem very happy with the new president of Guatemala, which just changed over today. What did you think of Guatemala? I love it. It's beautiful. Scale of one to ten. Let's move here. What? I'm gonna say that everywhere we go. Because everywhere is better than Canada. True. A scale of one to ten, what did you think of Guatemala? Every time I give my opinion, you restart the video. <laughs> <laughs> you see the same shit. You're just like, loved it, great, Mo let's move here. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> I'm just waiting just to get some feedback from you where you want to move. Guatemala for me. I think my expectations were maybe a little high. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to expect, but I would say parts of Guatemala really disliked. Some parts of Guatemala really did like. But I'm trying to think like, what was it that made me really like those parts? And it was the people that we met along the way. Yeah, the people were great. We had yeah. really good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, we only spent time in Guatemala City, Antigua, and then San Pedro on the lake. We didn't explore anything else. And I would definitely come back, because I'd like to check out El Perdón and Monte Rico. And I think we might be back later this year even. We'll see. But we'll keep that one a secret for now. All in all, it is a beautiful country. There's more to see. I guess we were in um, Tikal as well, which was really really great yeah. that was when we were in Belize um but yeah today we are flying out to Cancun Mexico so we're looking forward to country number three and some beaches yeah let's get our tan on yeah some beaches some hot weather some just chilling and I mean we've both been to Mexico who doesn't love Mexico who doesn't love Mexico I like it <laughs> I could probably live there Oh. <laughs>